Hello, my friends. Good afternoon. Well, it's really technically morning here, but by now it might be afternoon. Uh, I want to say I want to blame this time on technical issues. However, it was all electrical issues. Um, brand new building that we live in. And uh, for some reason, I had the air conditioning on this morning because it's very warm outside already. But uh, for some strange reason, even after we turned the air conditioning off, we kept losing power and we kept blowing circuits. And so literally we've turned off everything in this room that does not need to be on. For example, my whole computer system is turned down. Uh, we've turned off two lights. Uh, I've unplugged my Gemini machine. We've uh, unplugged Alexa. I mean, literally we unplugged everything we could. And so we're on the basic, basic uh, electricity that we're using and Ken still can't get Facebook to work. So we're just on YouTube right now where he's working on the Facebook right now, but I just wanted to give a shout out to some of you. Um, good morning, Brenda. Hi, Kay. Tell people on Facebook. Oh, yeah. If somebody could post on Facebook, hey, go check out YouTube because we are live on YouTube. Uh, Facebook's not accepting the code and it's not um, letting us go on there. So hi, Janet. Hi, MP. Hi, Stacy. Good morning. Hi, Mel. Hi, Glamper Girl. I know. Oh, Donna, you weren't late. I was. <laughs> I was late to my own party. Uh, yeah, crazy. Uh, I guess it could be partly to do with the heat. I mean, it's not that hot yet, but it is getting hot. And good old California, you know, they like to um, every once in a while just turn your electricity off for fun, um, even though it's a service you do pay for. But uh, this time, I don't know. I, we blew a circuit and it doesn't make sense. So we're here. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Um, so hi, Diane in Florida. Hi, Barb in Indiana. Uh, Nancy says it's sizzling hot in Surprise, Arizona. I bet it is. I'm surprised Tiff hasn't come over already um, because I know it's very co much cooler here. So people are starting to see us. Um, Larissa, you said you were late too. Don't worry, I was late. So we, we were just on the same time schedule today. <laughs> Uh, lots of exciting things happening. I'm just going to go ahead and jump in and if somebody could post on the Facebook that we're live on YouTube, that'd be great because Ken's still working furiously trying to get the Facebook to accept the code and for some reason it won't accept his code. I don't understand. Um, Melody says we are fading in and out. Uh, Shirley says you can't make this stuff up. True that. Um, yeah. Are we tra are, uh, every 10 seconds, Stinkerpot says. Um, I'm not getting anything, Bonnie says. Wow. Yeah, refresh. Okay, try refreshing your screen. Try take, go, doing that little curly arrow if you're having issues. Do the little curly L arrow up at the top or hit F5. Sometimes that'll help. Um, it look, I think we're okay on our side, but it could be because we're, we are, we're adding to the, the original feed that you need to refresh your screen. Um, so somebody saying good now, um, good now. So if you're going in and out, make sure you click F5 or the curly arrow at the top because we had to we had to redo the feed and so maybe it has to do with the feed. Okay, so we're gonna just jump in and keep going. Uh, hopefully this all works out in the end. As I've mentioned before, Tiffany's coming at the end of the month. So I've really, really, really started organizing and yesterday, um, I just needed kind of a mental day. And so I kind of just uh, unplugged for a couple hours and I organized. And I played with my fabulous label maker, which is now becoming one of my best friends because it makes me organized. For example, I spent some time and I, sadly, I went on my website to order more Kirsten bags and they're out of stock. Um, no update on that, but at least I have two to start with. So what I have here, and Kenny's not gonna be able to do any um, camera stuff, or, or are you? can you just hit camera two real quick? So he's gonna hit camera two just so you can see this. So what I've done here is I have taken, and I've decided that one Kirsten bag is gonna have the stamps of life envelopes in it, and one Kirsten bag will have the, and I'll show this one in a minute, but it has the, um, the storage envelopes from or pockets from Tiffany. But what I've done here is like there, you can see my circle flip it. Um, so I did all my flip it so far together that I have large circle flip it. Um, here's my cross flip it, my scallop circle. Oh, gotta move that closer to the, the circles. Scallop circle flip it. Sorry, there's a glare. There we go. Scallop circle flip it. Uh, triple circle flip it. Oh, see, that cross got in there. Actually, I'm gonna put the cross first because you know, Jesus needs to be first, right? Okay, center step up. 
sorry, there's a glare. Center step up. This one is the square flip it. I need to put all my flip it's together, but here's the flower flip it. But look at this, you guys. I organize all these, create a scene. So now I will seriously be able to swiper A2 because you know it's really called the wiper, but I always call it swiper. So I just named it swiper. I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? This is, this is crazy. Uh, I like the swiper shadow box. So I literally have all of these mini slim line, new one. You guys are getting those one, that one right now. The word stand up. So they're all in here, 3D pop up. I think I missed a couple. Small scallop A2 drop in. But look at that. Isn't that fantastic? These are all card bases, all card bases, all organized. And I'm so proud of myself. I want to cry. I'm not cry, but I want to jump up and down because I'm amazed and excited that um, it works. Okay, so there we have that. And then I'm gonna move this off to the side because I wanna show you this one that I did. And here we have the storage pockets from Tiff. Now, some of them didn't really require a big envelope, so they're still in the little ones. For example, my peekaboo dies. Uh, I have my stitch stars. And then remember how I always say that I add the extras on the back. Remember when I took these on HSN and I had a whole bunch of leftovers? Well, look at that. So I have my... Oh, now my volume's on. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what the good news is, is Ken and I are going to Olive Garden for lunch today. So we're going to reward ourselves for this crazy. And uh, luckily we'll be, we'll be back later this afternoon at four o'clock live. Also, no sound. We're getting the sound on. You'll see it in just a second or hear me in just a second. Back and perfect, Stacy said. Okay, sounds back. Yes, Ken didn't hit the one button over there. There's like 17,000 buttons that he has to deal with. I'm always amazed that this happens every week. <laughs> I mean, that we're able to do this live. Okay, so I kind of already showed you all of the organization. Um, I kind of, Amy, the sound should be on now. Amy just texted me. Um, I showed you kind of some of the organization. I'm really excited about that. Never mind, she said. <laughs> um, and, uh, I'm excited because now I feel like I will spend less time looking for things and more time creating. So I'm excited about that. And so far, two down, a couple to go. I did notice I was missing a couple of my um, uh, regular, I think I'm missing like regular circles and things like that. So somebody's gonna hunt them down at the office for me. Also in this one, so I have all my nested dies in this one. Let's do camera two real quick, Ken, if you can, thanks. So in this one, I oops, in this one, I have all of my nested items, but then also, and I'm gonna get a big um, uh, divider here so you can see it, but also then I have all my word dies. So this one's Thanksgiving, and I only have like two Thanksgiving, so it's in a smaller pocket. And then, you know, the bigger ones, and I have to organize this better because I didn't have another magnet, but here's my happy birthdays that I just got in there. So they're organized like this, and now eventually I'll get them on the magnet so I can really read them. But at least they're organized enough that I can find them quickly. For example, my large circle words that go with the uh, large circle flip it. You know what I mean? So now it's all organized. So all my die words are in here. Well, not all, because I have to find them all. But so far, so good. We're getting closer and closer. Um, and let's see. So that's, um, people are texting me. So I'm trying to like, my daughter's texting me now. Um, oh, you know what? I think I need that. I'm going to leave this one up here and I'm going to switch this one out. And let's see any other updates that we have that, um, so tonight we're doing our live at four o'clock. Hopefully by then, um, the electric issue will be fixed. <laughs> I guess I won't be turning my computer on today. Whoa, it must be a day off, right? <laughs> Kenny's laughing. <laughs> I say it's a day off. Um, uh, one thing I did want to share with you, I the June they are counting the June tray kit. So as you know, this is the hello there, also known as the May kit. Um, the June has just arrived at the warehouse. They are counting them and organizing them. But I did want to show you one sneak peek because I there's really actually extra items in this kit. So there's one, two, three, four, four items. But I was able to sneak in two extra kind of bonus items. I don't know exactly how I was able to do that. 
Um, hang on, Katie's now calling me, um, and she's not going to stop until I... Hey, baby, I'm um, live. I'm doing my live right now, so can I call you back in an hour? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Love you. Okay, love you. okay bye. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, when the kid calls, you got to make sure you answer. But this is... And Kenny will do camera, too, if he gets a chance. Do you have, are you able to do anything, or are you... Okay. Um, so this is going to... This matches our A2 folded die. This is our cute little, little um, pineapple, and he's not um, painted yet, so this is how he'll, he will arrive at your house. Perfect also for your home sign. So you could use your birdhouse or you could use this one. There's also going to be another option in this kit that you could use for your home sign as well. But look at how cute this little guy is. Again, he does coordinate with, and I don't know if I can find it fast enough, but he does coordinate with the fold it pineapple. And I'm looking real quick, and it's going to take me too long to find it. But... He does coordinate with that and he's really cute. Look how cute he is. So I can't wait to show you that painted. Um, and I'm hoping to do that probably on Monday or Tuesday. I don't, I haven't figured that out. But this is coming soon, just a heads up on that. I'm really excited about those because they are so adorable. Okay, camera one. Okay, moving on. I wanted to share with you um, some thing that I don't know people, it's kind of like, it, to me, it's kind of like a technique. Um, to others, it might be a no brainer to others. It might be, whoa, eye opening. And then all of a sudden the little light bulb's going to go over your head. I don't know. It depends on where you are in your creative journey. But I thought that sometimes it's good for me to just kind of go back to my original design process, because if you can understand my design process, maybe it'll help you design your cards. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, let's see, Gloria's telling everybody, please make sure to like and give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, Yvette said she used the pineapple fold it to make a, her daughter-in-law a mini book. Oh, cute, how cute. Where is the smile face from? The smile face, I almost want to say was in that kit. If not, then it was probably the one from the candy corn. If it wasn't in the fold it, it was in the candy corn uh, fold it. Um, let's see. Uh, Patricia says, I enjoy the home decor for life items. Thank you. I'm enjoying them. I literally just, I only have them for me because I wanted them for my home and hopefully some of you like it. Um, I just, I love that kind of stuff. I love that kind of decor because it matches my style more than going to a store somewhere else. Um, Ken's almost thinking he might have Facebook, not quite. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, oh, thank you, Jay, um, Jaylene. Yes, the smile is on the pineapple folded. Yes, Quilty says, please make sure you share the video as well. Okay, so we're just going to jump in and I wanna show you my design process on when I wanna make a card. So when I want to make a card, and I'm going to actually show you a kit sneak peek too, because I always just want to grab, I happen to grab. So when you want to design a card and you're like, huh, I know the theme. I know, for example, on this one, I want to use, here, I'll show you this. I want to use the fish. You know what I mean? Like I want to, okay, let's go to camera two. Sorry, babe. Um, I want to use the fish stuff, right? And you're like, okay, this is really cool. I want to use this, but I don't know what to do. Well, what I want you to do is I want you to find a card online that does not have anything to do with the fish, okay? It doesn't matter. It can be any kind of card you want, but that you like. So for example, I chose this one. This is a card that I made the other day using the card kit. And I like a lot of things about it. I think it's very pleasing to the eye. I like the big circle up here. I like my um, colored item down here. And I'm like, okay, that's gonna be really easy to turn into this theme. So I'm gonna take this card and turn it into this theme, okay? This card is my base, this card is my inspiration, but it's gonna look almost exactly like this. Now, this is kind of um, similar uh, op idea to the card sketches that um, Darlene and everybody's doing on the Facebook fan page. I know um, a lot of you um, do that, but I think more of you should because once I explain how to do it, it's going to make a lot more sense to you. So here's my inspiration. We're going to put that off to the side and Kenny will go to camera one when he gets a chance. And what I'm going to do, and you guys always know that I always have a whole bunch of A2 card bases just laying around, right? When you're, when you're stuck and you don't know what to do, just start cutting out A2 bases because you're going to use them eventually, right? So I just have them over here and I'm just going to grab a blue one. So I already have one. So from here, you can see 
My card base on this one is pink. I'm turning this one to blue, okay? Boom. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually turn this so I can see it. So now the background paper, I need to die cut background paper, pattern paper. And so I'm going to go to this pattern paper and I'm gonna find a background that I like. And I am going to use, oh, a mini fish. So here's my mini fish and I am going to die cut that. So I'm gonna grab one of my layering dies for my A2 and those I never put away. So this is one of my layering dies. So again, here's my inspiration. Oh, can we do picture in picture on this inspiration or is that just way out of your league right this second? Okay, he's still trying to get it all working. Okay, oh, picture in picture on this one, sorry. Switch the picture in picture. Okay, I'm so, okay. Well, now switch it, sorry. So I want this to be in the little corner. You can't do that? Okay, okay. He hasn't gotten to that point yet. Okay, so there's my inspiration. That'll at least, that'll give you something. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna take my layering die. See that layering die cut out the mixer one. I'm gonna take my layering die and I'm gonna die cut my cute little fishy paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna run that over here and I'm gonna lay that down and I'm going to die cut that. So what I'm doing is I'm literally just taking this cards that I already have done or that I found online maybe, and I'm going to make it a card in a different theme, different colors, different theme, different everything. So I'm gonna just lay that down, put that over there. So now I'm gonna lay this right on top. Oh, where's the adhesive? Where's the adhesive? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna add this to this. So when you feel like you don't have any inspiration, you I mean, when you don't feel like you have any creative juices flowing, this is what I want you to do because you know what? You are totally making a brand new card, but using this as your as your idea, right? So you're taking this idea or this sketch, because it's technically a sketch, right? It's a foundation. You're taking this foundation and making a new house or a new card using the same foundation, but a totally new house. So for example, this is a, this is a house in the farmhouse style, right? Well, now you're gonna build a house in the modern style. Now, that analogy is really awesome if you get it, but if you don't get it, then sorry. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my sample so I make sure I'm doing this right. And I see that there is a strip of white background paper right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find some cardstock. Now, does it have to be white? No, I could pick any color I want. And I'm actually gonna pick yellow. So I'm gonna grab some, oh, you know what? Let's get some scraps out. Let's grab some scraps. It's always good to use scraps when you can, right? So I have some scraps and I am going to die cut. Uh, let's see, I did have, you're making weird noises over there, Kenny, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just cursing myself. You're cursing yourself, oh honey. You're trying, everybody knows you're trying. Don't, don't, don't fret. Okay, so what I'm going to do is because I want to strip, I am going to use my slim line. Look at that because it says slim line right there. I'm going to grab one of my slim line dies that's going to line up pretty well on this. And I think I'm going to grab like this one. Let's see. Uh, a little too short, so we don't want to do that one. We're going to grab one that's a little longer. Let's see if I can find one that's going to fit. Otherwise, I'll have to grab a different die because I don't have a trimmer here. Uh, oh, you know what? It'd be better to do this. Look at that, that one fits perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one and I'm going to die cut this out of my yellow if it fits, if it fits. Oh, so close so far. Okay, let's get a different. Uh, I had a whole bunch. So here's a layering die that'll work. I don't know where this came from though. It'll be interesting to, well, let's see. Now I'm just messing around. Okay, back to the slim line. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one, we're gonna get some yellow paper because that one wasn't big enough. And fine, we're just gonna use this. Okay, proof I don't plan. And we're just gonna find the yellow, standard yellow. Because I want you to see, you can you can com go completely different than the card or you could be pretty much the same, just changing all the colors in the theme. It's up to you, right? So now, but see, the nice thing about this is you have a starting point. You have a starting point to do whatever else you want to do, but now you have that starting point, so you're not like going, oh, what should I do, what should I do? Now this one has little tiny bits of inking, inked edges, so Stephanie's gonna grab and ink some edges. So we're gonna just grab this, get some yellow out. How are you doing, Kenny? 
Good. You doing better? Yep. You've earned that lunch today, haven't you? <laughs> We're taking the babies yeah. to lunch too. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Kirsten deserves a lunch out, and her favorite place to go is Olive Garden. So we said we would take all three of them to Olive Garden. So meaning Ken and Stephanie will be outside while Kirsten eats lunch to get by herself. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, so anybody at one o'clock, if you live in the Huntington Beach area, uh, isn't it in Huntington Beach that one we go to? Mm -hmm. We're going to go to Olive Garden. And if you do come by, you need to say hello because that's the rule. And I'll give you a $10 gift certificate for saying hi. Because people were sometimes when they see me, they're afraid to say hi. It's like, what? I thought what? you were going to ask them if they'd buy us lunch. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Are, is your mic on? Uh -huh. okay. Or if the kids can sit with them at oh, their yeah. table. Okay, if you come by, <laughs> you get to hold a kid while we eat. Now we're talking. How's that deal? How is that deal? We can even up the gift certificate. Wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would. Uh, Kirsten would. Kirsten would be I all know. yoga. What? Sign me up. Sign us up. Seriously. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking this. So remember, here's my inspiration. I'm adding this background right here. Mine's a little bigger than that one. And I'm looking at this going, okay, that looks good right there. So look, you can see mine's a little different, but that's okay, right? Okay, so now I have this pre-printed item. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking my little, and I have my cutout piece right here. Put all this over here, get it in my workstation so it's out of my face. Actually, this can get put away. See, the more you put away while you're working, the better off you are, and I'm learning that. I'm trying to get to that point. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I've already kind of gotten two little guys. I'm gonna die cut those little um, fishies on there. And I keep on my workstation, I don't think here, you can see it right here. I keep on my workstation little extra pieces of washi tape that, um, you know, cause that way I don't have to, I can reuse them over and over again and I don't have to get a new piece every time. Although I did run out, so now I gotta get more. But I'm going to go ahead and die cut the cute little um, fish tank. And I'm just gonna get a couple more pieces. So I'm copying the little cookies over here and I'm just gonna get my fish tank. Oh, you know what? I want the shadow, I don't want the. I want the shadow. Please have the shadow in here. Oh, phew, good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to die cut the shadow, and look, it even has some already on it. I really like this one better, so I'm going to do this one. I like the little seahorse, how he's like hiding in the seaweed. Okay, so I'm going to line this up. Now, if you are already out of your paper that looks like this, of course, you could stamp it and color it, right? So, you know, that's fine too. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bring this over here and die cut this. I also, also, also want to die cut the little shadow from one of the fish in poppy color. So I'm gonna grab some poppy really quick. Of course, try to use your scraps whenever you can. And here's a scrap of poppy. So I'm gonna lay that down and I'm just gonna die cut that little guy right there. Okay, so I'm gonna run all this through. Kenny, are there any, are you able to look at questions? I'm gonna look still? right now. Okay. So Kenny's going to try to catch up on the questions. Um, don't forget, 4 o'clock Pacific, we have a lot of fun stuff coming. I've seen a couple sneak peeks online. Um, I wonder if that was approved. Um, I'm just kidding. doesn't matter. Um, but uh, I'm seeing a lot of sneak peeks, and they're fun. And you guys are going to – one of these is going to really knock your socks off, which I'm excited about. Okay, so let's do the overhead, Kenny, so they can see this really up close. And I'm, there we go. Look at that. That looks awesome. Okay. So what we've got here is I die cut using the shadow and I die cut just the inside die. Now, what am I talking about? Well, let's look at these dies really quick. And this is something that's pretty much unique to us, but I design the, sh the regular die to match the exact cutout. And I also have the shadow die option, right? So the shadow is bigger then the die because these are actually made when they're like just like that oh that's a loud noise outside that was a little scary okay so that's how they're made but you get the little here let me, let me hold this up so you get it cut out completely or with the shadow now you could also cut out the shadow in a different color that's what i did on the poppy i cut out the shadow in a different color and then i could take my little fishy and do that whoops hang on he's not centered so he doesn't look like much yet Actually, I'll put them on completely so you can really see, okay? So let me get my scrap, and I'm gonna add my fishy. 
because I want you to see what this really looks like and then you get to decide how to do it. So there is my fishy. So you could do it like that as well. Okay, so if you like the white or you like the poppy. Now another option is to take this little guy and get out your poppy or light. I don't think poppy is out yet in mini, is it? Is poppy out in mini? I don't believe it is. So I'm gonna get, I'm talking to myself because Kenny's trying, desperately still trying to work. Um, so I'm gonna take my strawberry because that's probably the closest color. And I'm gonna take my red uh, brush. And you know what, my brushes have been, wait, there's one, there's a real one. Okay, so I got my red brush. Oh, I'm down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get a little bit of the strawberry and I'm gonna tap off most of the rest extra. And I'll, I'm going to lightly go over the white. So sometimes people say, oh, the white is just so bright. Well, ink it, ink the edges. Now look at what you got. Look at this, totally changes it. And now here's my two options again. Let me bring those up. So now the white is not as obvious because I have that shadowed ink on there, okay? Elizabeth, you said you just got here. Don't worry, my love. You didn't miss much because we were very late. We had technical issues. So you have not missed much. So now I've also, and I'm going to put these off to the side, I've also die cut my cute little fish tank. So I'm going to lift these all up. I'm going to take this up. Any extra washi is just going to go on my craft station for next time. So I'm just going to peel that up. And I just kind of put it right here on the front so you can see that just right there on the front. The die is going to go in my craft station to stay safe and peel up the extra here. Now, what I also want to mention on this is, so I have all these awesome cute little pieces left. Now, I don't want this to go in my scrap pile because it'll just get all messed up, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it down safely so I don't accidentally cut any little guys. But I'm going to trim it down and I am going to add this into the storage envelope that has all of these dies right? So I'm going to take all of these guys and I'm going to put them right in here so I can grab them quicker and faster next time because they're already going to be in there, right? So boom, there we go. So now what I have is I have my cute little fish tank. And remember, here's my inspiration. Let's bring that in again. I really am trying to focus on make sure everybody understands how I'm pulling this into this. So now I have this great big fish tank right there. Look at that. And I'm going, hey, that looks great. Now, just for fun, I'm going to add some adhesive foam. I'm going to pop that baby up. So I'm just going to grab this, and I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to peel this up. Now, because my fish tank is bigger than my cookie tray, those two hearts right there, I'm not going to need to do because I'm going to have quite a few of this filled already, right? So I'm going to bring this down, and I'm going to put this right there. Okay, so here's my inspiration. Now I need circles. Now, this is almost more of a, this, I, I don't, this looks a little too feminine with the scallop. So I am hopefully going to find some circles, just regular circles, or oh, even better would be dotted circles because they would look a little like bubbles. Oh my gosh, that was genius. Okay, so am I gonna do a large one like that? Probably not, because it would cover my cute little seahorse, right? So I'm gonna do smaller ones, and I'm probably gonna do one like that size, and then one like this size. So I'm gonna do two of those. Now, I'm gonna pull colors for my card. I do have um, some yellow, I already have my yellow. I have a lot of green already, but I'm noticing that I don't have much light blue, also known as sky. So I'm kind of missing some sky, and if I needed to pull in another color, I think that poppy would be great. So those are colors that I feel like are missing. I do have this dark blue still, because the dark blue is on my card base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find some poppy, and I already have some poppy scraps right here, and I'm also going to find the sky. Now hopefully I have some sky in my scrap pile, and I think I do, I think I see one. There's some right there. Oh, this one's actually blue jay. Let's see if we can find some sky. Uh, there we go, and we have some sky. So let's use these. And I am going to die cut those two little circles. So because I have a lot of blue here, the blue is gonna go on the background because I want more poppy to show. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab these and I'm going to die cut. And now I'm going, oh wait, am I really sure if that's how I wanna do it? And I'm thinking, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna die cut both shapes in both colors at the same time. 
then I can decide what I want to do. Okay, so we're going to run those through. Because there's so many dots involved, I'm going to run it back through. Do you want to ask any questions with your um, project to have everybody vote? Sure, or? yeah. Let's have them vote if they want me to use the white shadow. Here. The white shadow. Can they see this? I'll switch it. Okay. Do you get to vote? Do you want me to use this? No, no, no. Stop. I don't want to ask that. I want to ask this instead. <laughs> Hang on. Back up, back up. Bop, 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 bop. I want to ask this. Do you want... The red circle on top, and I'll clean out all the dots, or do you want the blue circle on top? So here we go. So I could do that right there, and then add my cute little fish. Okay? Or do you want red on top, and then I add my little fish? So you tell me what color you want on top. The red circle on top, or the blue circle on top? Okay, and that's going to enter you also to win a $25 gift certificate to our website. Blue on top or red on top. Okay, so I'm going to put those off to the side while you all vote. And we're not going to use this guy. Well, you know what? Actually, we are going to use this guy. We're going to use this guy on the inside just to be an extra little cutie pie. So we're going to add this on the inside right there because he's extra. Now, this one didn't have anything on the inside, but that doesn't mean I don't have to do anything on the inside here. So what I can do is I'm going to grab again one of my little stitched, actually, let's see, let's grab rather rectangles. I want you guys also to start using, oh, you know what? Let's use our circles. We're, we're going to use one of the extra circles from on the inside. Um, I want you guys to really start using your nested shapes more. And so um, you're going to see a lot more of the nested shapes showing up in your life um, in the videos. Just a heads up on that. Okay, so Kenny, um, you're going to start. You're going. I need you to. You Everybody's know, guessing. Oh, they're so. guessing already. Okay, yes. so they're still guessing. So I still have my circles here. I'm going to put them over in my um, my little. Someone had a question about the storage envelopes. Did you happen to be able to show all three of them side by side? Uh, you have access to them or no? Or a couple of them? Yes, I probably could. Large, medium, small. Yes. So go ahead and, okay, you have yeah, that. Yeah, I switch. Um, let's see, let's grab, here's a small. Oh, that's a sneak peek, so I might as well show you that, right? Mm. Okay. Um, then there's a medium, and then I do have some large here. Okay, so here's the three sizes of our storage envelopes while we're having you all vote. Blue on top or red on top? Everybody's entered to win as long as you type in an answer. There's no wrong answer, right? Well, unless you said purple. Um, but here we go. Here's the sizes of the envelopes. Actually, let's do the overhead so they can see this better. Okay. Here's the sizes of the envelopes. Um, it's kind of hard to tell them, but here is oh, blue rulers. Maybe you can say what you kind of use each one for too. Sure. Huh? sure. Give them some ideas. Okay, so the small envelope is roughly set five, I think it's five by seven. Five by seven, the small envelope. I use the small envelopes for my stamps and dies. I usually fit up to uh, two or three stamp sets and two or three die sets. So if there's any extra items, um, like for example, on my fish one, I have two stamp sets and I have a whole bunch of two die sets in there and the extra pieces, right? So that's the small five by seven. Then I have the medium. The medium, I believe is six by nine. I'm going by memory. So yeah, six by nine. And this one actually has all my party stuff. So it has the rainbow party, the sun party, and the cloud party from the baby's first birthday. And so I put them all together because that's the best way for me to remember. And so they're in a bigger envelope because look, I have all my extras in there. And this was, I wasn't even planning on showing you that. So that's a perfect example of, yes, I do keep all my scraps in the envelope. They have the dies in so I can just grab and go. What if I need a sun one day? Boom, sun's already done, right? So that's for either Flip it dies, fold it dies, um, you know, any kind of dies, uh, card dies mostly, and also just extras. Then I have the large one, and this one holds eight and a half by 11 paper, so this one's probably like nine by 12 or something, right? Uh, close to uh, like 11 and something by nine and a half or something. And this one is perfect for the bigger dies. I have all my banner dies in here. I have, um, I think an alpha, I have my alpha, some of my alphabet in here, most of my alphabets in the other um, drawer system, but anything bigger is going to go in these. Also cardstock goes great in these. Um, anything like that, if you want to pack your stuff like a kit, you can put all your stuff that coordinates with that one envelope in the bigger envelope. The bigger envelope also does come in the card kit that we send out on the 15th of the month. So those are the three sizes. 
I hope that helped. It's always a good question. You can tell everybody to stop guessing too. I have picked a winner. Oh, Kenny has picked a winner. Okay, what is the answer so I can start working on this while you before? Oh, you do you want to tell the story about that that I just added our logo on there? See oh down my there. gosh. Okay, so as you can see, Kenny has gotten to the point where he's added our Stamps of Life logo in the what is that? The lower left, lower right corner? Yes, if you're looking okay. at that. Lower right corner. Now, cool part is is it kind of covers the boring black of this which is nice, but we didn't think of that. But um, for some reason, now it needed a PNG file. I know what a PNG file is, I use them all the time. Well, not all the time, but I use them. And let's just say Kenny and I spent each, what? Two hours mm -hmm. that day, each, Close. plus, plus, <laughs> trying to get that little logo in that corner. He said, I need a PNG. I said, no, a PNG doesn't work. Then he's like, no, I need you to send me a different PNG. I'm all, a PNG is a PNG. Well, apparently not when you're doing video software. It would work perfectly when he'd pull it into his his computer. It was the perfect, but it, well, it was just, I'm not even going to talk about it. It was a nightmare. Who's the winner? Pick the, I mean, tell me what uh, color goes on top first. Our winner uh, is blue is the color. To go on top, okay. Yes, from YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it is Don Young. Don Young, you just won a $25 gift certificate to the website. Um, so you are going to email info at the stampsoflife.com, also known as Faylene, and she is going to get that out to you, probably not today, but soon. Also, just a heads up, those of you that it's your anniversary month, and if you're not sure if it's your anniversary month, if you're a club member, you can go into your account and look. Um, you were all sent your gift codes today, perfect timing for tonight's release. Mm -hmm. How nice would that be if you were getting a gift certificate for free? How come I don't get gift certificates for free? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my little guy, I'm gonna add my little fishy. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive foam behind him. Where'd my adhesive foam go? There it is. And so I'm gonna add, now remember, I have just little random pieces of it because I used it for shakers and now any of the scraps, I'm just gonna use to pop up things, right? So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that. And Don Young, congratulations. See, you just have to enter the chat. Just answer, just type in your answer and boom. Now don't forget, Beach Boulevard, Olive Garden, anybody want to hold a baby, one o'clock. <laughs> Please show Please. up. Please. Please. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my little guy and I'm going to add him right here. Now, I could put him back here if I wanted which would be okay. I could put him right here, but I'm gonna pop him up double because I want him to be above my fish tank, but um, still on the card, obviously. Okay, so I'm gonna take bigger pieces of, and I'm gonna double the foam tape, this foam squirt, foam pieces here. Oops, that's too big. Okay, um, like the logo, Lori says, thank you, Lori, thank you. Everybody's saying congrats to Dawn. How nice of you guys, that's very nice to say. You're like all, Rarrr! but no, it's a nice, no, it's nice to say, good job, Don. See, you just got to enter the chat. Now, a lot of times people are too shy. We always have a lot of people watching that don't enter the chat. They don't, they don't feel like chatting. Well, come on, we're, we're, we're nice. We're not going to scare, we're not going to hurt you. We don't bite, right? Okay, so um, Teresa says logo looks great. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to add my little guy right here. Okay, cute, cute. And I'm not going to add the ribbon because I honestly feel like this yellow back here looks like pretty much that ribbon right there, right? And I have this little extra piece here, um, but I think it looks okay. I like that you want, sometimes you want just empty space, right? I am thinking this is gonna be for a guy, so, or a child, a boy child, so I don't necessarily need to add any of the um, actual little cute little things like this, but right here is really starting to bother me. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to always grab my epoxy dots. Epoxy dots are awesome because when you don't know what to do, put some epoxy dots on it, okay? We actually have ordered recently, we have ordered some new epoxy dots in themed colors that we're gonna have on the website starting, do you know when, Ken? Um, I think it's July. July, wow, okay. So what I'm doing, and let me see this up close, babe, please. Mm -hmm. Above. Yeah, Above. thanks. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding three, because remember, you always want to do three. So I'm adding three right here, one, two, three. Look at that, Oop, a little closer. Ooh, okay, there, uh, there, okay. So I have my one, two, uh, he's, no, okay, there, whoops. 
sorry, the, the perfectionist in me comes out. Okay, so there I have my one, two, three. And I want to note it, I want to show you a couple things. Okay, no, I'm, I'm done with the front, but there's a couple of things I want to point out to you. Stamped, stamped item or colored item, right? Because it could be either the stamped item or the colored item right here and right here, right? One, two, three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Two circles, two circles. Little embellishment, little embellishment. No bow needed because my circles are smaller. Look at that. Now, if you got these in the mail, you would never think they were the, they, I used this one for this one, right? Because they look totally, totally 100% different. But I didn't have to use any creative juices because I just copied this. I literally copied this to make this. But you would have never known, would you? Because they don't look anything alike. But I literally just took this foundation and built this card. This foundation using this card. Do you see all the similarities yet differences? Okay, now, just to go on the inside, because I already have these die cut and they're in the perfect colors, I am going to add, and I'm gonna ask, answer any questions or any comments in just a second. I'm gonna get those little extra, because I, I did two layers, remember, when I ran this through. And I'm gonna add this adhesive on the back. I am going to add this right there. I love how the circles kind of look like little bubbles for the fishies, right? And then I'm going to stamp something on here. And another cool thing about clear stamps is you can always lay it on top to see if it's going to fit. So that is, that is fits. And then fantastic, ooh, not really. But what if I did just fantastic by itself? Maybe. What if I did tank you by itself? Well, tank you doesn't really work by itself, but watch this, you guys. I'm going to take that stamp because what if I wanted to thank you, Kurt? I'm going to take that stamp. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut that stamp in half. Look at that. Now, are you allowed to do that? Absolutely, right? Because you bought it. You can do whatever you want with it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that stamp down. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this so it stays. So I'm going to add this to the inside of my card right there. And I still see a couple little pieces in there, but we can worry about that later. Now, I'm going to take these and put them face down, stamp down, right? And I'm going to line this up. I'm going to grab my little tweezers, which I talked to the factory and they said they're coming soon, but they had electrical issues and they lose electricity a lot too. And they couldn't finish them until later this month. So we're, they're coming. Okay, so I'm going to move that over just a little. Now notice... The stamped image is face down. So I got it right where I want it to be, and then I'm gonna take the back of my, the, I'm gonna take my block, press down. Now it's perfectly lined up exactly the way I want it, right? Now I'm gonna take my Forever Black. Okay, you guys, don't forget, one o'clock, well, 115 maybe, Olive Garden. Be what is it on beach? On beach, yeah. Beach. Mm -hmm. Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. On Beach Boulevard. Get to hold a baby. <laughs> and get a gift card. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's my cute little thank you, right? Now, normally that was supposed to be one line, but I simply just cut it in half. Now, somebody asked me one time, well, can I do it one line again? Absolutely. You're just going to take this stamp and you're going to move it over there on a bigger block. And now it's, it's one stamp again, but it's just cut apart, right? So we can go that way, it can go this way, you can go any way you want with it, but now you have more options. So there's my little thank you. And okay, to finish off my card, because you all know that we have to do this also, we are going to take this one, and this one says created by Stephanie. I'm going to turn this one over. I'm going to get my ink pad again. I love my crafting station because everything is out of my face. Okay, press that down created by Stephanie. And now we have the most adorable, I'm gonna show you over here, up there, and then I'll show you the real version. But here we go, again, inspiration, different version. You'd never know, would you? You'd never know. Inside, thank you, isn't that cute? Thank you. And then on the back, I have my cute little, that one just says created by Stephanie. Okay, my friends. Let's jump in on the chat. Let me see how everybody's doing. Um, Barbara says, right down the road from me. Uh, hello. Hello. Pe Penny says, I might come see you at lunch. Would love to see the babies. I know. Come on, you guys. Hop on a plane. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Um, but, yeah. And Kirsten's going to 
you know, she'll go, what? And she's going to go, yeah, they can hold them. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm not seeing my Our, Facebook chat. Yeah, it's just not. It's just Facebook not. Facebook is us just much, crazy. Huh? I'll refresh okay. it. Um, okay. Carmen wants to know, though, if there's a chance. We still have a lot of the um, blending tools, but we uh -huh. don't have the refills anymore. Is it not? Is that not something we're going to care anymore? Or would you just be better off just buying another blending tool? Right? Yeah, a blending tool, because the company went out of business oh. that we bought those Okay, from. so if you want those pads, you just got to buy the new, the full, the non-refill, right. the regular. Right. <laughs> okay. The non-refill. Right. Okay. Right. Um, Christina wants to know, do you have a personalized stamp that says made for you with love, um, grandma? Actually, we have a personalized stamp that says anything you want because you get to make your own. Now, you can have it say anything you want, including different languages, as long as there are no bad words involved. I won't, I won't allow bad words, but you can have it say anything. You can have it say, I love you by Nana, happy birthday, Gra love grandma, made for you by grandma, whatever you want, as long as there's no bad words involved. And you can pick different fonts, you can pick different shapes, you can pick different icons to go with it, absolutely, on our website. What yeah. about bad words in Spanish or French or something like that? No, because you know what I do, Kenny? When it, when it, it comes in in a different language, mm -hmm. I Google what it says. No You're bad on. words. You know yeah. all the scams, all the I do people know all the try to do. Yeah. Hey, did you ever hear back from that one lady that stole a machine from us? I have not. You have not? Of course not, right? Of course not. I know. <laughs> I know we should we should give out her name. What state does she live in? She lives in Texas. Yeah, it's a bummer. There's bad people out there, you guys. It's awful. Oh well, who cares? Yeah. Okay. Um. So I want to know what you guys thought about this. Um, Raggedy Ann says enjoyed the live here. Um, for, oh, she has a fever from the second vaccine. Praying I can make it the flash sales. Oh, honey bunch. I hope you feel better. Some rest. Um. Joanna says, Johanna says, lunch would be well over by the time I fly over from New Zealand. You're right. You're right. Maybe I need to go to lunch in New Zealand. <laughs> um, did you tell Kirsten and Colin happy anniversary? I did tell Kirsten on, and Colin happy anniversary. On, I did not do it online. <laughs> they were so today is Kirsten and Colin's uh, fourth anniversary. Uh, I cannot believe the most exciting wedding of my life was four years ago today. Uh, we had a brunch wedding. It was um, bringing, t bringing tears to my eyes already. Ben and Carter were the cutest little human beings ever um, at that wedding, and they were so perfect. They kept, during the ceremony, they kept inching closer and closer to Kirsten, and they were just looking, they stole the show. They were just absolutely adorable. And Kirsten looked amazing in her dress. Um, it was actually the second dress we bought because she didn't like the first one. Um, she felt it was giving her anxiety and she felt like it was, um, it was from the devil. <laughs> she just hated it all of a sudden. Luckily it was really cheap, so it didn't matter. Um, but then we bought her a second dress and the lady literally hand sewed it on her body. Um, because she kept losing weight and I kept feeding her M&Ms um, because she kept losing weight but she looked the dress looked like it was made for her um, I'm sure you can see them on my Facebook page somewhere I'll have to I'll have to try to bring the link back up so you can see it on my Facebook page but most beautiful bride ever most beautiful wedding ever and four years already I can't believe it four years and twins later <laughs> who would have thought four years ago that four years later we would be going to Olive Garden for lunch with our twin babies I would say that's crazy talk. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. <laughs> yeah. Somebody, Lynn, has asked this several times, so it must be really important. She wants yeah. to know if this is considered a bad word. I'll spell it out just what? so we don't get shut off on okay. uh, YouTube or something. D-A-M-N. No, <laughs> I don't think that's a bad word. I, I'll accept that bad word. That's not a bad enough word. I will let you, like if you say you better keep this damn card. <laughs> Okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Damn this. I mean the big words. Or, you know, big, big words that you don't really want your children to hear you say. Like if your kid heard you say damn, they're not going to like, you know. Okay, yeah. Damn all allow. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Diane says, KJ may not like you promising a baby to hold. Mm -hmm. um, Diane, a normal mother wouldn't, <laughs> but a mother of twins would probably hand them over along with the birth certificate and say, take them. No, I'm kidding. Especially I'm kidding. if you have your club member button or something. Oh, if you have a club member button, wear that and that'll make her feel better. Um, <laughs> yeah. But seriously, as long as you stay in the restaurant, I don't care what you do. <laughs> <laughs> stay within our sight. Stay within our sight and we're fine. We're all good. Trust me. She, the thought of her eating her favorite lunch by herself, but you know as an adult would be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, she'll do it. She'll do it. 
And if not, I'll let you do it and just tell her to turn me <laughs> <Yeah>. away. <laughs> I said it was okay. Yeah, I said it was okay. Uh, Denise says, happy anniversary to the wonderful couple. May God bless you with many more. Thank you. Sherry's Thank granddaughter you. is 21 Oh, today. Sherry, your granddaughter is turning 21 today. Woo, happy birthday to her. Wow, wow, that's exciting. Um... Uh, Teresa says I have to wait until 1 a.m. in Italy to see the big event tonight, but I don't want to miss it. Teresa, bless your heart. You, you'll be up in the middle of the night. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope you guys really got, um, got the idea about the whole copying the foundation or the sketch or whatever. Um, it was something that I just really wanted to share with you just so I, cause I'll, I sometimes hear people say, oh, I'm not creative. You know what? You don't have to be creative, but you can still make creative cards right and literally you don't have to copy you don't have to copy the card like this you copy the card like this right or you can copy it this way too that's fine but i'm just saying there's so many if you just take this idea you can make your own oh and cookie's making ken pick her up that's sweet okay is couple there a more questions oh, yeah couple more questions. is there an early release pre-release plan today or is that top secret but you just might look around Yep. And then we have a question, some questions about the personalized. Where do we find those? So I'm going to pop that up on the computer screen. Oh, look at that. And Kenny's all fancy. We'll show them, right? Okay, so show them. So the, okay, so gonna Kenny's going to show switch. you the computer screen. This is our homepage to our website. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to where it says Clear Stamps Personalized. Um, and you are going to click that. Go ahead and click that, baby. And then you are going to see a whole bunch of different icons. And then you're going to scroll down. And then you're going to see a whole bunch of different options. So you could do no frame, or you could uh, do a swirly frame. You could do an alphabet letter if you want. Two different font options. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. You could do it horizontal. You could do your bit, your name really tall at the top. You could do the one I just did. Um, you could do the brackets. You could do a rectangle around it. You could do the icon label number two, icon label one, custom label stamp, and then also the initial swirl. So lots of different options. And these make great gifts, right? Oh, they do make great gifts. They do take about, what, four to six weeks to come back to, to get. So if you order other items, just know that this will ship separately. And uh, they're really fun. They're really fun. And lately, Ken's been licking all the envelopes. He's been packing them all, so not licking. Luckily, we have the peel and stick <laughs> envelopes, uh, so no spit is involved. Don't worry. But Kenny actually packs those. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the personalized stamps. They're fun. They're fun. And they're perfect also if you like are trying to get to a $100 order and you're like, I don't need anything else, but I need to spend $10 more. Dollars. Go buy a personalized stamp, either for yourself or a friend. And then you're getting to your hundred dollars, and you're getting free shipping in the U.S. And then, even better, right? I know, I know. We try so hard. We really, really do. Okay, my friends, we're gonna head out because Kirsten's gonna come pick us up pretty soon, and we need to go get ready for our lunch again. Approximately one o'clock to one fifteen. I hope to see some of you or all of you at Olive Garden. And um, don't tell Kirsten I told you you could hold a baby, mm -hmm. but just kind of sneak by and just say, Stephanie, I'm one of your club members. And I'll say, oh, here, do you want to meet one of my babies? Oh, here, hold this one so I can eat. Something like that. You know, we'll play it cool. Okay, we're just going to play it cool. You know, right? Luckily, my kid doesn't watch the show. So, okay. Are we good, babe? I think we're good. Everybody knows to show up today at yes. 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock Pacific time. So, we're going to go eat lunch. Kenny's going to come home and take a nap. And then we're going to be live at 4 o'clock Pacific time. 7 o'clock Eastern, 1 a.m. if you're in Italy, like my friend that was in Italy, New Zealand. Sorry, my friends, I don't know what time it's going to be, but we're going to have a blast. Brand new items, one re-release, a new release that's from the past, a blast from the past, all on flash sale, all going to be fun. I'm going to demo all of them. I'm going to show you samples. We're going to have a blast and free raffles, free event, free raffles. You just have to enter the chat to win when we ask you some random questions and you'll be entered to win a $25 gift certificate to the website. And we'll do, I'm saying at least three, at least three gift certificates. So write that down because I just said it. Okay, my friends, thank you so much. Thank you for your love and your support. And, and your patience. Prayers. And your patience today. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, who knew that, uh, who knew? At least we didn't lose it while we were actually going, right? I guess, okay. Thank you all so much. Have a lovely day. I will see you later this afternoon and stay safe and stay happy and go craft. Okay. Bye-bye.